Good afternoon and welcome to Celtic TV for today's SWPL match. Celtic take on Hearts at Celtic Park. These two sides have already met twice this season, with Celtic narrowly winning the first encounter 3-2 and drawing one each in the other match. The Celtic women's team have played at Celtic Park a few times over the last few years, but for a few of these Celtic players and the manager, Elena Sidiku, today will be their first experience of playing in paradise. Flint protecting the ball well and just looking for an option. She'll send that towards Caitlin Hayes on the right-hand side. Still, Hayes drives forward towards the penalty area and sends it out wide. A good ball out wide towards Ashworth Clifford. What can she do? She crosses the ball in. It's deep. Oh, and it's gone in! Off the inside of the post. Ashworth Clifford opens the scoring for Celtic. And it may have been a cross, she may not have meant it, but it doesn't really matter because all that matters here is that the scoreline reads Celtic 1, Hearts now. Well, you can tell Lucy that, that she didn't try it, you know, I think she tried it to the Cripple with you, I'm going to take it away from you, but no, as you say, there's a bit of good fortune in there, but listen, we've tried that pass, if you switch your play, you step out, step out from the back, as you say, Caitlin Hayes and switch the play well. And you can see that I think, I'm thinking, well, it's a great ball in, but it's actually been in off the back post, as you say. And great start, fantastic start. Colette Cavanagh sends that ball through. A chance and it's 2-0. Murphy Agnew gets a goal at Celtic Park. Can you can see the delight on her face and on the face of her teammates. Celtic in full command of this game now. But yeah, again, if you look at it again, you'll see where it all originates from. The ball goes in, who goes and presses the ball, Barkley wins the ball back. You can see here she steps on, wins the tackle, gets pushed through, lovely ball through, and a fantastic finish because she's under pressure. Oh, that ball trundled through. Murphy Agnew into the box to make it 3-0. It's 3-0 to Celtic. Murphy Agnew has her second goal of the afternoon. And Celtic are in cruise control at Celtic Park. Well, the, the important thing is when she gets through there, Murphy, she takes her time, he's composed. She makes the goalkeeper actually near enough goal first. She's guessing, but there's a calmness about them. And as I say, they've thoroughly deserved it. Yet again, they get their bit of fortune. Had ricochets in the middle of the pitch to put her through. But I think it's because of the pressure as we spoke about is on the ball, you know. I think it's a tackle from the Hearts player on Jen, Shen. So, and it goes through. And Agnew just sticks it right in the back of the net. But a great finish because the keeper's dived low and she's lifted it, had the quality to lift it above her. Now, Celtic with a three-goal advantage here. I'm sure the supporters who have turned up today are thoroughly enjoying what they're seeing. High energy, high intensity and a high press as Tash Flint has the ball on the right hand side. And she'll give it to Barclay, takes a touch and then drifts it into the area. But it's headed clear, still there. Flint has an attempt, he's always rising over the bat. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me for that at the back of the net. I think she's been outstanding. She's got a great footballer of intelligence. You can see there is, as I say, both in and out of possession where she picks up. She's, I don't think she's given the ball away. Kelly Clark, such a dependable player at the back. For, for Celtic, such a dependable player all round for Celtic. Of course, she wears the armband. But Celtic now with a chance, Tash Flint, you would think she's going to score, and yes, she does! The trademark celebration, and a trademark finish from Tash Flint to make it 4-0 to Celtic. 
No, just as what I was saying earlier on about her, she picks up fantastic position, a great good footballer, understands the game. But you think there's no danger, Harps turn out when they could go forward. She plays the ball back and there's only one player reading it, it's Tash Flint, and she's on it at their flash. But not only that, it's a fantastic finish. She didn't even think twice about it. She just looks up and says, thank you, outside of the boot. Brilliant, comfortable, composed finish. And nothing more than she deserves for her all-round performance. Oh, chance here. Murphy Agnew bearing down and goal. Can she make it five? She can. A five-star performance from Sadiqa's side here at Celtic Park today. It's five now. Murphy Agnew secures the hat trick and makes it five now to Celtic. Listen, I'll tell you one thing. They must do a lot of practice on the finishing because we've been through and goal. The girls have been so calm and picked the right moment. And every one of them has been through one and one. I finished them exceptionally well. But as you see, it comes out of nothing. A little bit of pressure we're talking about again. Doesn't make it easy for the defender. Makes a goal herself. But when she goes through, she settles herself, which is the most important thing. Settles herself down, doesn't rush it. We've seen it so many times when people rush it or get flummoxed when they get into the box. She opens her body up and slides it away fantastic well and thoroughly deserves her hat trick. An afternoon to remember for Murphy Agnew stepping out at Celtic Park and netting a hat trick for the hoops. Hearts, a chance to whip the ball into the box, which they do. It trundles through, saved, but I think the whistle had gone offside. as the hat-trick hero, Murphy Agnew, comes off. Round of applause, and rightly so, and the Celtic supporters. Clear goal, they'll come on. Murphy Agnew had such an impact in today's game. She'll be absolutely delighted with her performance today, and I'm sure she'll be watching the highlights of her goals back today for many years to come. Absolutely, and getting the match ball as well, with all her friends and teammates signing it for her. And it's sent long up the park, back with Kavanagh now though. He picks the pass out to Shane, trying to work that to Kit Lafersky. She's not had much involvement since coming on to the park. But that ball is good from Kavanagh, it's through. Goldie with a chance, Goldie goes for goal, but it's saved. Pushed out by Parker Smith, decent save. She showed great pace, power, and then once she got there, she managed to nick it, but she, she was composed enough. She got a lot of power behind the shot. As Hearts have a chance here, that ball's trundled through, but Doherty off the line, big collision. Doherty was brave. Think she's okay. The offside flag was up, and the full-time whistle goes at Celtic Park. It was a wonderful performance, a perfect day, a five-star performance, and it ends at Celtic Park. Celtic five, Hearts nil. No.